Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I have a special gift to open today and I know who this is from. This has come from Sandy Irvin over in uh, the States. I know it's from her because she messaged me on Facebook and let me know that it was on the way. Very excited to see it. It's something she's made herself so I cannot wait to get in there and have a look. Without further waffle, let's get on, let's get in there. One thing that made me laugh is this, because the label is stuck there. Obviously, that was flat rape, but it's like a flat rat. Hopefully, that's not a clue about what's inside. <laughs> so there's a little rip strip in the back there, which is handy. Let's go in. Ooh. <gasps> Yeah, she did give me a clue that she'd used Daphne's diary. Or papers to make this. I love Daphne's diary. Now is this her? Hello again. Isn't that lovely? That's from Daphne's diary as well, with a little bit by the style. Beautiful. Love the colours and the design of that. Let's go in there. I don't know if there's a note. I'm looking for a note from Sandy or something, but I don't think there is. I'm not sure which way up it should be, but it probably doesn't matter. We'll soon find out. Ooh, ooh. It feels nice, really nice feeling paper as well. Oh, look. <laughs> it's 2024 now. I'll have to change that now, won't I? <laughs> she did say she made it a while back, actually. Oh no, isn't it beautiful? Oh, get go oh this was coming out. And these kinds of like, uh, well, it's like a junk journal, but it's not junk, is it? These kind of um, journals like this are made to um, doodle in or write little thoughts in and stuff. But I was, I tend to make them and think, oh, they're, they're lovely. And then I'm, I'm afraid to, I don't want to spoil them by actually doing anything in them. But I think they're a lovely place to collect little quotes and things like that. That's, that's probably what I would do in a journal like this. Oh, it's beautiful, Sandy. Huh. That looks like some... Um, it's like coffee dyed paper or... I can't smell anything. Coffee or tea dyed paper, it looks like. It's been kind of uh, stenciled as well. It's got that lovely crackle that you get with coffee dyed paper. Little pinned little piece on here. Oh look, these all these all pop out actually. All the pieces, all the shapes pop out. Ah, cappuccino stencil, right? Oh. <laughs> Cornelius Carrot Jar. The rest of that will be on the other end, I guess, the other end of the signature. Okay, dreaming. Oh, there's a, an extra butterfly stuck on here. I can feel it. You can see butterflies in the background. There's an extra sort of butterfly sticker on there. I love this carrot with the patch on. And you can get so many ideas and inspirations of things from other different colour combinations and designs in something like this as well. It's just really fun. It's fun to make, it's fun to use. And yet, of course, you can, what you can do is use a bit of gesso, you know, paint, uh, paint a bit of gesso on there so that you can do little bits of sketches and things in it as well. You can do all kinds of things with these sorts of journals if you can bring yourself to ruin them. <laughs> oh, look at this. Another piece of this must be hand um, painted paper. Beautiful. It's like maybe acrylic inks because it's got that lovely sheen, or maybe fluid acrylics, stenciling and stuff. It feels really nice. Oh, I love that snail. Just love that. Oh, look. Flowers. <gasps> maybe what I could do is like clip quote. Keep it as my little quote quote gathering book <laughs> and I could just clip them in without actually ruining any of the any of the journal itself oh look at this like a vintage typewriter typewriter instructions for the look of it oh, oh I've got a vintage typewriter sits just behind me on the table some of you might have seen it an underwood I remember using an underwood I think I might have trained on an underwood 
Smith Corona. Love it. Beautiful. More coffee dyed or, or painted. Music paper. Oh, it's lovely, Sandy. <laughs> and of course, if, you know, if you do gesso out parts of them and doodle into these pages and things, you can leave you can leave bits there and work around the design that's there. So I probably leave that there and this. Leave little bits of it showing just to make it all more interesting. Love that. That's a really nice um though it's stenciled or stamped. Really stenciled by the look of it. Lovely. Ah see and I could uh I could extend into this, do a bit of doodling on it, couldn't I? Oh I could do all kinds of things in here. Lovely. And I love having as part of a collage I love having windows and and doors and things and then you can kind of again use gesso to partly paint out the background and then extend into it. Another thing that's nice to do with these kind of books like this is to actually use them as a book to take papers from to then use for your collage and stuff but that means tearing it up so I won't be doing that. <laughs> that is a fun thing to do you know if you've got a lot of papers that you love and you don't know what to you know make them into a lovely little book like this and then use it as a, as a little book to take from to work from. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have fun in this. There's little birds stuck on there. I can feel that they've been put on. I love these. And I could, you know, again, use this page to make my own little quirky birds. Your only limit is your mind, nothing else. <laughs> Cute. Lots of ideas here as well. <laughs> Love Daphne's diary. It's quite hard to find and expensive to get hold of, but it is it is lovely. Beautiful, isn't it? Another coffee dyed piece, I guess. Don't know, maybe she used something else. Can't smell coffee at all, so oh, how pretty is that? Some bits I would be able to bring myself to kind of gesso over and use or you know stick my own papers and things on and add to it and doodle in it but others I won't be able to touch. <laughs> Love these little wooden houses. Oh look at that! Oh, how fun! <laughs> and there is a whole series of Daphne's diaries. poem about being creative that's now that's been added on looks lovely though oh look at this <laughs> another one of these so that extends that's the same one that extends right out look at that oh i'm gonna ooh. <laughs> love these little these little kind of art dolls absolutely beautiful i could make some of my own little art dolls in here i might like making my little collage girls but not always girls, sometimes they're just weird creatures. The, oh, this, but this book seems really old. This paper is lovely. Looks like it's all in um, Latin. It's 
beautiful little pieces. I mean, as I say, you could you could cut little pieces out of this to use, but I don't know if I have to bring myself to do it. I might doodle into some of the squares. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Look at that. Loads and loads of pages as well. This rooster here. So that must be the other end of the of the signature. <laughs> Even the ancient Romans made quilts. Interesting. Women secretly worked their views of events in society into their quilts, meaning they now also have historical value. Interesting. Music paper. <laughs> That's cute. Just thinking that I could um, partially gesso out this background and continue this illustration. That's another part of that. Um, I think it looks good. This is the end of the um, typewriter instruction manual. And she's added this little painted border there. Love it, love it. Oh, look at all these pieces in here. Oh, a little, little um, tuck spot with a... Excuse me, i again. <laughs> oh, look at these. Little, um, like a tag with a pocket here. With all these different little... <laughs> Back in there for now. Oh, so sweet. Moonlight is proof that there will always be light in the darkness. Oh. And then with that beautiful crackly coffee dyed piece there's some more um, there's some maybe this is the other end of the um, the bit with the, with the cappuccino stencils I've lost them now there they are could be could be because it's quite far back yeah I think that's that image too Oh, here's a little message from Sandy. Hope you enjoy this as much as I did making it. Sandy in California. Love it, love that piece on the end there. It's beautiful, Sandy. I absolutely love it. Um, and hopefully, if I can bring myself, <laughs> if I can bring myself to do to um, actually work in it. I can there's there's lots of scope here for collecting my thoughts collecting little quotes that I love doing little doodles and things I will really enjoy this and to be honest even if I did nothing in it at all I'll just treasure it just as it is it's absolutely gorgeous we'll come back up again in a minute I'm thrilled to bits with it Sandy thank you so much I'm, I'm yeah that's really really sweet of you to send me that oh it's a horrible dreary old day today I really needed something needed a little bright spot so that is that is just just made my day thank you very much i'm going to message sandy now and let her know how how chuffed i am with that thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that little peek and i'll see you again really soon bye <laughs>